on this episode of Evangelism Part 3. Howdy y'all, I'm Pastor Mark, I'm the pastor of Copeland Christian Church, and this is Theological Moments with Pastor Mark. Well, it's good to be back with you. I'm excited to conclude our discussion on evangelism today. So remember we talked about in our first video, uh, the gospel is Christ died for our sins and rose again from the dead. And we talked about our responsibility to share that message with a full gospel presentation, because without the proper context, people aren't going to place saving faith in that, right? It's not enough to know the claim. We need to believe in the claim that Jesus is who he says he was and died for our sins. Then last time we talked about some fundamental concerns, and today we want to talk about giving a gospel presentation. As we've discussed, evangelism requires a proclamation of the gospel, that is, the good news. The gospel by itself isn't enough. And so we call this the gospel presentation because it gives the necessary information for a person to place saving faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so what are the elements of a good gospel presentation? Uh, there are three basic elements. First, the human predicament. Second, God's provision in light of this predicament. And third, our required response to God's provision. In short, sin, Christ, faith. The human predicament, as we've talked about several times, is that we are fallen. That God created us to enjoy a relationship with him, but because of sin, that relationship has been destroyed. And scripture says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And 6.23a tells us that the wages of sin is death. Yet, because God loved us, he respond, right? This is what God does regarding our predicament, and that is he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. Uh, Christ died as the sinless sacrifice, the substitution for us. And so then our required response is faith. It is believing that Christ died for our sins and that he is the Lord and Savior. Romans 6, 23b says, But the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Right? And so the idea here uh, is that we were in sin, separated from God, and so God intervened on our behalf, and he sent Jesus Christ to be the substitutionary sacrifice for us. And by placing our faith, our response, placing our faith in him, we have that restored relationship with God. And so the key in all of this is faith. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace you are saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so that no one can boast. As Luther says, we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Now, as I mentioned, it is very helpful to have a method that you prefer so that you can fall back on it when you're there and nervous and everything falls out of your ears. So I want to recommend three specific methods. You can internet search any one of them and they'll come up with lots of options. The first one is called the Romans Road. In this method, you will use several verses from Romans to guide a person through the human predicament, to God's provision, to the required response. Typically, uh, Romans 3.23, 6.23, 5, 8, and 10, 9 are included. Uh, another common method is the four spiritual laws or four spiritual truths. Um, it is that God loves you. Man is sinful and separated from God. Jesus Christ is God's only provision for man's sin. We must individually receive Jesus as our, our Lord and Savior. Now, each point then has a specific Bible verses that go with them. And the final version I want to address today is what's called the bad news, good news approach. Um, each of these methods have pros and cons, but overall, all are excellent tools for getting comfortable at making a gospel presentation. So that's all for today. I hope this discussion on evangelism has been helpful. Like the video, share it. Uh, if you have something to add to the discussion, please leave me a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do so. Go ahead and click the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.